hello viewers welcome to another new video in this video i'm going to explain uh, user management and real-time chat app with signaler so in this project uh, what i try to do or what we i built uh, built a user management system a real-time chat app with sp.net mbc setup database with entity framework core and this application is code first and also the third one i try to summarize this application details so implement uh, dynamic role based user access system integrate signaler for real-time chat functionality design an interactive ui and responsive i have used admin ld uh, these are the things so i'm going to jump to the project so i already open this project using visual studio and this project is uh, developed using latest.NET SDK 8.0. So you need to install .NET SDK 8.0. Also make sure Visual Studio latest version is 2020. Uh, community, version is, um, community version is absolutely fine. You can check your .NET version using uh, PowerShell. Uh, .NET version. So I already installed uh, latest 9.0, but 9.0 uh, is just released a couple of months ago and it is more stable right now. Anyway, so if I run the project, I'm just uh, running the project. So we'll uh, log in as a super admin user and check the entire feature of this application. And our main goal of this video, chat, one-to-one uh, -one and see the live interaction and instant um, instantly uh, one user to another user receiving the masses that functionality check more accurately so uh, project run successfully and this is login screen uh, let me just log in as a super admin user and uh, I will explain the summary of this application so Uh, application is just uh, uh, login and this is dashboard and uh, uh, we have complete user management and role system role login history you can check the login history and audit logs so entire system uh, uh, data operation especially create an uh, update operation you can check here so this is uh, audit logs and uh, in this video uh, our my main focus is uh, uh, communicate uh one to one user using chat functionality so uh, let's say uh, i log in as a super admin which is um, which is a one user named steve smith so if we go to the chat room then i let's say pick uh, i will communicate with uh, Birat kohli so Birat kohli is currently uh, unavailable let me just copy the login access so that we can <coughs> communicate with Birat Kohli. Uh, if I open another browser, the same screen by dividing with the, uh, yes, so we have a uh, two similar skin, uh, two screen for a similar app. Uh, let me just log in here. So I need to uh, log in as a Birat Kohli. Uh, Birat Kohli user. So test user uh, password is same for everyone. So <clears throat> and one more thing, so this application is uh, re a, a dynamic role based. So all user not access everything. So Birat Kohli is a general user. So he can access only his uh, profile and the chat room. So now I think Birat Kohli is showing online, already showing the green button. And here's the Steve Smith. So left side is admin user, left side is screen, which is uh, Microsoft Ace, and uh, right side is screen is like uh, um, um, Google Chrome browser. So I will uh, first say hi from admin user to general user Birat Kohli. Hello. Oh, so we have implemented like sound functionality once user receive the 
uh, sound also we can see the there is a new notification new message and you can delete the message and uh, uh, yes if I reply from the Uh, test masses also we can attach uh, uh, attach the file so if I attach we can attach the file like image video another file if I attach to let's say book thumbnail send so uh, we can share the images and other file and we can view that images uh, but that is uh, completely viewable so this is real time so as a uh, if you if you are going to chat one user to another user so uh, let's say user one is sent to the message to the user two so user two if uh, uh, by logging into the system he you will get instantly that message um, let's test See, as we can see we can um, um, receive the message instantly and uh, also the system is uh, triggering the sound of functionalities okay I'm, I'm just moving to the other functionality of this application and log out as a uh, general user so beard call is now uh, showing the log of so this is uh, this functionality also dynamic when user logging into system it automatically show the uh, green skin and if user log out from the system it automatically show the red skin which is uh, also implemented using a uh, signaler functionality so in the dashboard uh, we can see the summary of this application like total uh, user and department other things so which is related to user and recent register user along with uh, uh, login status and you can directly start chat from here so this application is core feature is like one-to-one -one chat and uh, receive the chat instantly uh, recently we have uh, added uh, additional feature and uh, like uh, you can add us the file so I already uh, present that uh, functionality uh, by chatting with the general user we can see that we have uh, received the file image file successfully and we can view that file also you can delete the masses uh, uh, that feature already added in the system so another things is uh, like uh, this uh, application is latest uh, this application uh, use latest.net sdk 8.0 uh, build with the entity framework core code fast app pro so you don't need to worry about the database script and test data uh, let me show you how test data works so enter uh, in the project we have a data folder and the seed data so i didn't the list data here so once you run the project for first time test data will generate it automatically and so that you can uh, you can check the functionality of this application without any issues and if i going to explain this application project architecture so i just design a simple project architecture of this application so this is uh, MBC architecture in the middle in the back end we have a like MBC model view controller and that is uh, connected with entity framework core services view model and sp.net identity which is uh, managing the user management system and uh, also we need the NuGet packages for managing uh, uh, different libraries using NuGet package we install uh, entity framework core uh, and if required the other library then we can use the NuGet package and uh, we install .NET SDK and for the database part uh, this application also supported multiple databases which is MySQL, SQL and PostgreSQL front end we have used uh, admin LT uh, theme and along with jQuery data table for managing grid view, designation, searching and sorting so this is summary of the architecture of this application if you are interested then you will get entered this project along with additional documentation like project architecture uh, ERD diagram project documentation swagger documentation also some few video tutorial which is like uh, let me open here project explanation video full stack development how to connect sql server mbc full stack development and how to deploy the application into IIS 
so these are the things you are going to get and if we uh, if you can ask uh, how uh, a signal are working so let me just give you a simple overview so you have to ins you have to configure uh, signaler into program.cs file mm, let me show you So uh, service, you need to add the service signaler and uh, using the app instance, you have to configure uh, notify uh, underscore real time chat app. This is the, your uh, a string name using this the name you have to um, configure the JavaScript code. So you have to write one class library which is signaler server. Uh, if we go to that uh, so and uh, this signaler server extend the hub which is the library code and this is for the configuration and if we go to one example code how signaler is working then uh, We have to go to the www road folder and js and uh, use a chat folder under that folder i have written like uh, message functionality ui sidebar chat box i divided the code uh, into the four different parts so that it will be understand understandable unless it will be more complicated let's say this is sidebar this is a header and this is the body and the, this is the message functionality so i divided for part of the chat functionality so and if we go to the chat box operation then i will explain the main functionality like signaler how signaler is working I'm just trying to find out the relevant code. Uh, yes, so we have a chat box underscore signaler. Uh, chat box underscore, underscore signal. So this is uh, this uh, JavaScript li library is really bent to um, related to handling the signaler function. So here we configure notify the chat application chat. So once uh, uh, let's say uh, user one is type and send messages. So uh, using this code uh, is the user second uh, second user will notify and also the delete message synchronization login user synchronization and add new message so once you are going to send a message so call signaler so add new message sync so using this uh, javascript code basically add new message delete message and login new user will be sync so seeing that is that means uh, uh, once you are going to send message that user will notify instantly also the login and logout will uh, green and red button will update accordingly and other things is delete message also uh, the um, sync instantly like delete message functionality also we have your signaler uh, libraries so these are the summary of this code um, so if you are like this application you can uh, extend and uh, modify based on your needs so this is the minimum uh, viable product you can consider as mvv version so our next plan is uh, we will uh, like uh, add additional features and also refactor the existing code base and also add uh, based on the feedback if any bug and issue we will fix accordingly in our next release so thank you for watching this video uh, if you are interested uh, then uh, after purchase you will get these things let me show you after purchase complete source code uh, complete database code first approach project documentation erd diagram architecture diagram video tutorial free tech job free tech support just click this link and you uh, you will go to the code canyon here is the details of this project 
and also I have attached my uh, full details into the video section if you have any further queries and help uh, required help how to install how to run the application how signaler system is working also how to deploy into is everything i will guide you without any charts and also this application i hosted into linux servers as you know uh, microsoft is supported like uh, cross plat microsoft is now uh, sp.net is now cross supported cross platform you can host linux and microsoft as well so thank you again so hopefully you will like the video and if you are interested just go to the code canyon and purchase and get these things instantly